Hi, welcome to Unlock Layout and Design YouTube channel and today we are going to discuss a different type of transistor called LDMOS. Before understanding LDMOS in detail, we will try to understand what are the different variants of CMOS processes. So we all know that we have a digital CMOS process. So which has got a core transistor and a IO transistor. What is core and IO? Say suppose a core is at 1.8 volt transistors, PMOS and NMOS. And we have IO say at 3.3 volt. So we'll have 3.3 volt PMOS and NMOS transistors. So that is the digital CMOS process. Next we have the analog CMOS process. So in analog CMOS process, we have the digital process, whatever components we have. Along with that, we have resistor, we have capacitor, and maybe sometimes a deep well transistor. Okay, what is deep well transistor? So I have covered that in a separate video. Please uh, look into that video. <coughs> then we also have something known as the bi-CMOS process. So what is a bi-CMOS process? Bi-CMOS process is an analog process. Uh, whatever we have here like the digital process plus resistor capacitor deep and well maybe and also bipolar devices that is nothing but your npn and pnp okay so then we have one more process known as the bcd mos process which is actually having uh, the same bi cmos process whatever bipolar and cmos process along with that we have high voltage transistors known as the ldmos okay and we will have deep and well as well so the other process that we also know is the rf process rf process will have the analog process plus inductor plus deep and well let's try and understand well, one uh, different transistor called as the de mos before moving into ld mos this de mos is also called as dmos okay so if we compare with the traditional NMOS uh, transistor, so this is the planar NMOS transistor, which is an channel transistor. So if you observe, the drain is extended, means like the drain is away from the polygate and it's not like overlapping with the polygate or very near to the polygate. So in between, we have something known as the drift region. Okay. So what do you mean by drift uh, region? Means the current will flow due to the drift. What is drift current? drift current is the current that flows because of potential difference between two points because of VDS. VDS potential difference the current will flow. And this one is the drain here and this one is the source. Okay. So first of all why do we do this? So why, why the drain is pushed away from the gate? So here we are discussing about high voltage transistor. Okay, so the, the reason why this is pushed away is to handle higher voltages and we know that high voltage, voltage breakdown is a function of distance. So for that reason it is pushed away so that now gate and train can have higher voltage breakdown. Okay. So suppose I have this as my MOSFET. Gate and source will still have the same breakdown voltage. The earlier voltage say it was like 5 volt. So gate to source will still have the VGS rating of this transistor would be still 5 volt. But drain is now extended. That's why the gate to drain voltage can be say if it is a 12 volt transistor, it can be 12 volt. And drain to source again will be like 12 volt mainly because of that distance at which the drain is situated. So the reason why we go with drain extended mass is because of high voltage application. I told you earlier this is also called as DMOS. Okay. So what do you mean by DMOS? It is double diffusion. Okay, double diffusion mass. So here we have only one diffusion n plus. Here we have n minus and also n plus. For that reason, we will call it as double diffusion mass. Okay, now we will get into LD mass. So this is nothing but lateral D mass. 
so it is lateral demos so here we see the drift region being here so this entire thing is the drift region so it's very similar to drain extended mass drain is at a distance for the same high voltage application the drift region is a little bigger so it starts from the middle of the polygate itself and this portion is the source and this is the bulk okay so if you compare with this this is the drift region here is only so much whereas the drift region in ld mass is like a bigger drift region n minus drift region so that's the difference between ld mass and the drain extended mass so when we go with the uh, ld mass or the de mass the symmetric structure is missing okay so it is an asymmetrical device so how do we bring back the symmetry so what we do is we will have two of them two devices i will put them uh, next to each other juxtapose them and i will flip one of them and then make the connections in this way as shown in this figure so this entire thing is one ld mass so i will flip this one and then i will have this side of the ld mass so this is the drain and this is the drain here and this is the source and this is the source the, this is the bulk and this is the bulk now what i do is and this is the gate okay so now what i do is i will connect the uh, drains together here and that's how a drain is formed i will connect the gate together that's how a gate single gate is formed out of two gates and i will connect the source and also bulk in the same way these actually will be an annular structure it will be something like this right it will be a ring structure like this so suppose say this is the gate gate one and gate two they will be connected like a ring so in the top view you will be able to see this not in the front view so hope that is uh, clear so now it becomes symmetric okay so ld mos formation is not uh, very uh, standard way uh, of formation different foundries will uh, make the device in a different way okay well, let's uh, see some of the variants like some how they do it okay so this is a uh, LV low voltage LD MOS wherein you have the gate overlapping with the drain here. Okay, but the drift region is there. So you still have the drift region. So this is one type of low voltage LD MOS. Then you have a high voltage LD MOS wherein we have the gate but not overlapping with the drain. And this entire thing is the drift region here. And in between I have the locus. Okay. So this is the source and P plus which are in the P well, but this entire thing is the end drift region. In some applications, we will need isolated LD and MOS. Okay. So suppose say I have a DC DC converter. So so this is the LX point and this is a V in. So this one normally will be a P MOS, but sometimes this can be a normally P MOS. Sometimes it will be replaced by a N MOS because the size will be smaller. But then this ground needs to be isolated. The bulk of this should be isolated. That's the reason why we go with a deep N well device. This is the N buried layer and that's how we get the ground isolated. More about this deep and well isolation is covered in a separate video which is named as deep and well. Please go through that to understand what is deep and well isolation. So this is one more variant. Uh, so we can see NMOS, DNMOS and LDMOS here. So NMOS is uh, this is the P substrate and we have a P well and in which uh, we have a symmetric uh, NMOS device and we have DNMOS here gate is here and drain is away from the gate and the drift region here is mentioned as N well but this is nothing but the drift region and in LD MOS which is very similar to DE MOS we have the drain much much away from the gate and in between we have like the drift region here 
but in between we also have HDI. Okay, so now this one will be generally a very high voltage transistor like 35 volt or 50 volt. We have till now seen lateral DMOS. We also have something known as the vertical DMOS, okay, the structure. So we are familiar with this uh, lateral device wherein we have gate, end drift region, and then the drain which is away from the gate and source which is very near to the gate and which is in a p-well okay so this is the lateral so this one if you see is the vertical so how is it different so we have gate and this one is the source this one is the source which is very similar to this and then we have the p-well here this is the p-well so we have p-well here the same p-well is here okay then we have the drift region which is n minus what we have here that is here drift region and then we have the drain which is here the same drain is over here so now if you see here it is the current will flow laterally here the current will flow vertically that's the reason why it is called as vertical demos okay. here also we can see the same structure in the other one so here i have and this is my uh, gate this is the gate i have this one and this one as my source this is the p junction whatever you have here and this is nothing but your drift region and then we have the n substrate and this one is my drain so this is a vertical formation of the same d mass current will flow vertically so let's try to summarize so ld mass is for high voltage application so whenever we need a high voltage transistor it is a ld mass so and then basically it is a asymmetric device but it can be made a symmetric device by using two devices putting them adjacent and flipping one of them okay and then uh, we have seen that already and uh, isolated ld mos is used for the high side device in a dc dc converter i told you earlier so we can use in a dc dc converter we have the power fits on this way and this is the lc filter this is v out this is P in, this is ground. So here we give the PWM signal. So this is the high side device, which normally is a P MOS. We can replace that with a N MOS, but it should be a isolated device. Then we also saw like uh, there can be a lateral structure and also a vertical structure. So it is called LD MOS and also VD MOS okay and ld mosses are also used in rf applications uh, like in power amplifier and other uh, components so it is used uh, in rf applications as well okay so if you have liked the video please don't forget to hit the like button and please share and subscribe thank you